Hello and welcome to Cowabunga Ranger Talk. I am Masca and with me as always is BTV83. Hey everybody. And we got a, a pretty topical one today. Today we're talking, we're going to go straight into the topic of the day and then we'll get some news bites and stuff. What we're talking about is the 2003 Super 7 Ninja Turtles Ultimates. It's been yes. fully revealed today. So all of the images are are out now. There's no more, you know, ideas. No, now we know exactly what the figures look like. And uh, can you bring them up? Can you bring up the, uh, the images? I cannot bring them up at the moment because I'm on my phone again. But I will oh, be okay. doing some. I will do editing for all this right. one all because. Right. So- you guys will get it in post. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, we, we know what it looks like for the audience. But if if you guys want to see it, like more up, up close, uh, Super Seven's main page, uh, the Twitter, Facebook, whatever you have for Super Seven will show it really close to you. So, yeah. So, um, what are your initial thoughts? Uh, you, you know, me? actually, I I like the sculpt. I really do. I think they look fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but again, it's a Super 7. Let's uh, give you a lot, pay a lot for very little, uh, I guess I can say. You know, they want you to buy all four of them to get that extra heads, you know. And it's, yeah. I I understand Super 7 is trying to make an, another, you know, easy buck off of people. You know, we can charge this much money for each one. But yeah. they're not so ultimate anymore. You know, like, ultimates used to be like, you got all this stuff. Now... It's been a long time since I've seen 2003 Turtles, but I still would say they would be able to come up with so much more items than what they show. You know, I mean, it's just like, it, it looks more like maybe a $30 action figure than a 55 in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. I I totally agree with you. Uh, bro, how do you, you look at that and the boxes are coming super light. Like that is yeah. very light for an ultimate. Uh, you can tell there's cost cutting, obviously, because they all share the exact same body. The only difference is uh, Leo has a strap to his belt, but I think the other three that also have the exact same belt. So yeah, yeah, pretty much. But at least uh, the bodies are different than what the other action figures of the turtles look like. At least they actually went for the actual TV show look, and not just the average turtle. Here's a turtle. You know, we're gonna call it 2003. They actually kind of made it more blocky, kind of like what you would have yeah. saw on the TV. They're bulkier. Like, I'll I'll give them that. The the designers and stuff they really nailed the the beefiness to, to that yeah. version of this of the franchise. I but, I like it. You know, it it's very well done. No doubt about it. That as far as design wise, sculpt wise, it's very well done. Yeah. We got Scorp- that positive, you know? Yeah, Scope Rise, it's very, very uh, perfect. It's right on point. But again, I can't take it and pay for it that way because it's just, to me, it's not a $55 action figure. I hate to say yeah. it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say this too is uh, the first thing that jumped out at me is Raph doesn't have a, a normal head. Like, <laughs> He's, he's angry, he's angrier, and he's angriest. And the other three turtles are look like kind of playful. Like one is like they're all half smiling, half smirking. And even the super pack is like three turtles are like two turtles are winking. The other one, Leonardo, is it's very similar to the one that comes in the box. The yeah. Skull. But Raph is like he just gets angrier. It's like and and that one looks so similar to the other one, you to the other angry face of Raph. It's, yeah, yeah. I, I think they're just trying to go with that attitude problem with the app, you know. Um, but again, he had, he, had his other, he had other moments in the TV show that he wasn't angry. Yeah. So I don't know why they did that. Um, I will say I like the nunchucks off of Michelangelo. You know, yeah. where they have the spinning, where it looks like it's spinning. I think that was pretty cool. I mean, I know other companies have already done it better, actually, than those, but... I think it's just not, there's not really now, much yeah. to talk about. There's not much to talk about the figures themselves because they, they don't come with much. Like we've been saying, you know, they just extra hands. 
I think Michelangelo is the only one that has like really extra weapons, you know, because it's. I don't know. Yeah, man. Look, you talk about accessories and things like that. Uh, yeah. You could look. Donatello comes with one staff. You couldn't even give two bow staffs to Donatello. Like really, like that box is empty as hell, bro. Like. It is. Then you didn't. I think you. They put goggles on Donatello just for like. Just the hell of it because the box looks so ridiculously empty. You have yeah, I saw that. And I'm thinking to myself, did he ever have those in the TV show? He had those, but he had a lot. Bro, there's a lot of accessories for the 2003 show you could do. Donatello usually had a a, a big uh, uh, backpack. He always had like other little trinkets and stuff. He's the inventor. Of all of the yeah. turtles, the one that you packed the lightest, because uh, he's pretty light. You didn't even give him a second weapon. At least you, you know you Michelangelo. Much, gets, no. You know Michelangelo gets two nunchucks. Raphael gets uh, two, sides, two sides. Leonardo gets two sides. But this one you gave him what, bro? You could have put something in that box. That box is. You you look at that and you're like, man, you, I don't. See, there's a thing here too. Here's another point. You're not basing us off the playmate stuff. Which was no. one of the the worries or kind of the the floating theory going around that they were just gonna do the 2003 version of the toy versions of the show, right? This yes, is going straight. That. This this is going straight for show. This is straight one for one show accurate show 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 fine. There's a lot of show. There was the show was on for like eight eight close to ten years. There's no way this show didn't. We the show technically ended with the Turtles Forever movie, which was the crossover. Yeah, but bro, in ten years you couldn't come up with a couple more things to throw in that box, like uh, yeah, it, it's. I don't see it selling very well. I hate to say, I mean, people really wanted this, but I think they wanted it more ultimate than it is. You know, um, you, it's you a great, know. it's a great product to wait till it goes to um, Ross. I hate to say it, you know, Burlington, whatever, you know. That's that's another thing I was going to tell you about. Because I've seen other, like, actual YouTubers and other stuff like that kind of talking about this stuff. And they've been kind of, you know, it's almost like fear tactics. Like, oh, they're doing smaller runs. They're not going to, you're not going to be able to get it. You might not get it. You... Really, oh, bro? FOMO. FOMO. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's one dude that Jeez, he, he got a – I don't want to start a thing, but, like, come on, bro. Like, really? You're you're talking about that stuff? Oh, I have people and you, you – sh- there is no clear idea of how many people want to buy a couple of Ninja Turtles. Like, it, it's, you have to shrink the – you already do made-to-order, right? That's yeah. Super Saiyan's idea. They're made-to-order to begin with. And – so now it's like super made to order. And I, I saw this one YouTuber that I don't even want to call him out because there's no point in calling people out. But the information that he's saying is so wrong. It's like, or it's 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 frustrating that this guy was saying that, oh, now they hit their sweet spot. So there's not going to be any clearance. There's not going to be any of this. There's not going to be any of that. I, I've never heard of somebody uh, actually defending this type of, of mentality. Like, there's no, no overrun. <sighs> Even was, Super 7 does clearances. Everyone you know who I'm talking them. about, right? You, yeah. you know, you've heard this type of smaller runs, this type of chatter that people have been saying. Oh, yeah. But see, even when you get a smaller run, people still put them on sale after all because they don't sell them. But yeah, like I, like I said in one episode, like these titles would have been a great example of it. Made to order, really made to order. You order it, they make it for you, they send it to you. Yeah. This one, this this uh, run of turtles, just by the way they came out, uh, I think it was a mistake. I think they should have been. Here's the four turtles. Each one's made to order for you. If you order all four of them for yourself, you get these extra heads. Not this is the new pre-order. Here you go. Yeah, I think I like this the one. Idea, yeah, yeah, I think That's this one should have been because this is, this is basically a one-off from the other lines. You know, even though it's part of the waves. Um. Unless they're gonna add Shredder and the Utrons and stuff in it, I doubt it. But you never know. Um, just depends on how these sell. Cause I, w- I was yeah. actually excited for these ones. Right now. If I don't remember, if you remember, but I was talking about it, they were really good. I was gonna get them. Yeah. But um, I'm not impressed. 
I'm not impressed with what they come with. I think I would go with NECA or something if I was going to get some total stuff because Super Sam is dropping the ball, you know, with this ultimate idea because these are not ultimates. Yeah. So they've been talking about this for about a year now, right? They've been yeah. Of, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It was supposed to technically come out last year for the anniversary. Thing. Yeah. So in your opinion, it didn't live up to the year of hype, even the, the renders? No, they, I don't think so. I mean, they could have even did it. You know, even if they added something bonus-wise, like the extra heads, take the heads away. Give us the Utron. It's something that's so different for, you know, a bonus. But no, they give us very little. And I can care less about extra heads because you're still going to choose just one head, put it on there and display it. You know, I mean, that's... I think that should have come in the box to begin with. If you're just yeah. doing less accessories, you should have at least three heads, three options. Something like that, you know. I mean, come right. on. I mean, the box I, is pretty empty. I hate to say it, but if you go back to the Power Ranger line, you got basically three heads for each character. Unless, no, yeah. even the Tommy one, you had three heads. You know, you got the mask, you got the two people, and a whole lot of... I mean, that was the reason I went with Super 7 for Power Rangers, because you had all the accessories that no one else was doing. Yeah. But lately, they've just been, you know, looking out the lines, they're just not doing much. I mean, I, I can't understand, you know, like, for the line of what I collect, I can understand, like, maybe Scorpina coming in with very little to nothing. Because there wasn't much for Scorpina. The Megazord, yeah. not expecting anything but a power sword and the shield, you know, their Mastodon yeah. shield. But when it comes to, like, the actual mainline characters... Oh, yeah, I'm expecting a whole lot, you know. I mean, even Lord Zed, a character that sat on a throne 99.7 of the time in the show, came with a whole lot of accessories, you know, mm -hmm. stuff that didn't wasn't, wasn't even necessary to bring. But um, these turtles, you know, going back to the turtles, it's just really, like, why? What's What was the point of rating th a year for these turtles? To render, to render, because we're not going to get them in hand. Uh, the release supposedly is February twenty five. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see because we know Super Seven. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if maybe Super Seven is just getting bored with the Ninja Turtles, like they don't know what to do with them anymore. Because all be they because all they've been doing is now you can correct me because I really don't collect the line. It's just basically taking the playmates and re making them into their own seven inch figures well I, I think right now what they're they're kind of at a crossroads with the whole uh playmates thing because the whole rumors of you know playmates doesn't want them to use their skull varner studio must be saying something about it because they were the ones that were actually designing this stuff from the drawings that playmates and you know uh eastman and layered approved so, because this is a chain of command thing. So, oh, yeah. So, if that's the big question here, too, like, what do you do in Wave 13? Do you go back to doing the Playmates toys? Do you just forge ahead with, you know, Wave 2 of, of the 2003 show? Like, do you make Shredder? Do you make Hun? Do you make Arai? You make some sort of foot soldier? Because you have, you have, see, that's another thing. I, I'm surprised they didn't put in a foot soldier here. They kind of make Karai, the four though. Turtles. They no, did a Karai. The, the, the 2003 show. Yeah, I know. There's, there's a 2003. This, the Karai that's coming out is uh, just, it's a it's a nice design and a nice sculpt and everything, but it has nothing to do with anything. It's it's not tied to anything. Yeah. It's just, it just is because it is. And it's a nice look. And I'm going to get it. But yeah, what do you do in Wave 13? If you're having problems, because honestly, this whole line, like went off the rails with the whole Rat King thing, with not finishing sets, right? Oh, because yeah. you make you make three uh, rock and roll turtles, and then you're not gonna make the fourth, or you make three of the undercover turtles, but you're not gonna make undercover Don, or you leave people, you know, holding the bag, so to speak, or you leave them up in the air, and then you start losing confidence in the brand. You do overruns like we were talking about. And, oh, we had too many, so Big Bad and Entertainment Earth, they started clearancing them out. Yeah. Clearancing should have been a good thing because if more people can get it at a cheaper price, more people come into the line. So it's 
losing a little to gain a lot later. Yeah, you know, just like just like the throne that I just bought for Lord Zed, I waited until it came down in price because I thought it was ridiculous to pay the price that they wanted originally for it. Something that just is a piece of furniture, you know, basically. Yeah. And that's the other thing Super Seven likes to do is getting these little pieces of like displays mm -hmm. that do no no transformation or nothing. They look nice and they just sit there, but they still charge you the same price as a figure. And it's like, no, no, yeah. you know. I, I, bro, they should honestly, and it isn't me being vain because uh, I've said this before, but it's honestly the best thing you could do to keep this line going is do what I'm doing. Look, I uploaded a video today of me literally doing a figure test. I did a, an unwrapping. You saw the, the you know, I they used to testing yeah. glue and stuff like that. I'm literally showing you the process of toy making for real, not just some render bullshit. I'm literally here. It is for real in, in real time. Well, you they used to do something like similar. Yeah, they used to do something similar like that on YouTube, where they would show the um, not the final production, but like the prototype production of it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and those were pretty cool. I forget which one, which Power Rangers I saw that on, but there was mm -hmm. one of them that came up. I think it was, I want to say it was the Madame Wo one that I saw. So there was a prototype just to let you know that one. Oh, but okay. again, you know, if somebody has the blueprints or the 3D printing, whatever. It could be a possibility for bootlegs. But um, anyways, yeah, they used to do that on YouTube show. Oh, well, here's the turtle van. And they would have one that was... Oh, yeah, but know, the turtle van was, was such a thing. It took like almost four years right like yeah three but, years it took and they really had so many time. different prototypes of that one i remember seeing all the different color prototypes that they had because they they could they switch factories on that one yeah. too and the whole thing with the thunder tank which mm -hmm. they, i don't know the thunder tank must have taken up most of their real estate or most of their space in the warehouse i don't know what happened there but i i know the thunder tank really like pushed back the party wagon for super yeah Star. but again uh, these uh Again, they, 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 the 2013 has their own, you know, vehicle too, you know. Yeah, I don't see them making that. Though. Oh, I don't see them making a lot of things anymore. But, <laughs> uh, bro, you know who could, and, and this will be into a little later, but it kind of goes with this. Uh, freaking loyal subjects, they they're getting in the game. I mean, they they've gotten pretty deep this year for IDW stuff. Maybe they'll come up with the IDW party wagon. There you go. I, I could see that as their big thing, because they've they've been doing uh they've been doing enough that it kind of warrants it. They've done enough repaints and recolors, because they'll they'll recolor the hell out of anything, pretty much. If they oh, yeah. make one turtle sculpt, they're gonna bleed the hell out of it, which is smart business wise. I don't fault them for that. But uh, I could see them getting into the van game. And I don't see them playing all these games of, oh, we're going to make you the pre-order to the this, to the that, and the this. They probably just show up with it, like like at New York Comic Con or something. Like, hey, here's the IDW uh, party wagon. Go get it. Yeah. But, I, but yeah I don't think... What, what, I do don't... You think? what do you think we do at, at Wave 13? Do we go back to the turtle, to the Playmates designs, or we just keep moving forward? What do you think? Well, I hope they would move forward, you know, to more characters from the 2003 show. And but I think, I, th I think, it, yeah, I think it would just depend on how these sell. Because that's, that's one of the issues with Super 7, is if it doesn't sell well, well, they're just done, you know, and they'll go yeah. back to what's selling. But again, this was, this was anticipated so much where people wanted it so much, you know, I want, I want, I want, I want. And, I'm sure a lot of people are just like us, disappointed in what you don't get. You know, yeah. even the um, Playmates newer turtles came with a lot more stuff. Came with a whole lot more stuff than this, and they're oh, cheaper you know, turtles. Now that you say that, today I was at a Target, and and I ended up getting uh, all four of the Mutant Mayhem turtles for twenty bucks. I'm gonna use them to repaint yeah. them. So okay, get. I'm not. I already had an, a regular set. This set, I'm gonna color them in the original Playmates colors. 
So I'm going to make a brown Donatello. I'm going to make a light uh, yellow uh, raff and all that with the sculpts of the Mutant Mayhem. So when, when they're done. Oh, the okay. Show, I got you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, for 20 bucks, how, well, what can you do for less than 20 bucks these days? You know what I mean? So, like, you can't. And I'm still looking yeah. for the newer turtles, the, uh, the original sketch ones. They haven't popped up online, but I've heard that they're supposed to. So, you know. We'll yeah, see what happens. Uh, that might shake out uh, probably first week of uh, of July because we're almost done with June. And yeah. I, was, I well, don't see things moving right now. That too. You know, um, the other set, the Walmart set was supposed to come out this month as well, but I go to Walmart at least once a week and I don't see them anywhere. Yeah. You know, so who knows? But I'm not one of these people that's going to go ask the retail person, hey, do you have this in the back? You know, that's not me. And then that's what these people did with the original sketch. They would go up and be like, hey, this is the semi so so code, you know. Do you have it? Oh, yeah, we have that. You know, they're not supposed to be releasing it, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, kind of wrapping up the, the the topic for today. Uh, here, here's the question. Do you think the double articulation makes that much of a difference? Because that's that's the million dollar question that everybody's been crying. Oh, you need to have double articulation. Now we're getting double articulation. Does does this change the game for you? No, because I've never been an articulated person when it comes to action figures. Yeah. What I want is just a figure that looks true to the TV show, true mm -hmm. to kind of stand up by itself. And yeah. with the turtle, with those heavy shells. The balancing of them. I don't know how they do. Because the 2013 is built different than the actual turtles. Yeah. So they might look good, but you might need to buy a stand for them. But again, that's something I wish Super 7 oh, would do is buy, yeah. you know, put stands in them. Like test them out, see if they fall over easy. And the ones that are like too heavy, just, you know, put a stand with it, you know? McFarland does that. And yeah. a lot of his. Uh... His multiverse, the DC, the field. I've had I've had some McFarlane stands on the Mortal Kombat figures when they were clearance because I was like, well, Mortal Kombat figures, you get what you get, basically. Well, I think it's a great idea, but again, the stands are really cool. You know, depending on the stand, you can make them, you know, look like they're fighting each other or something. You know, without that stand, it's almost impossible. But yeah. again, I bought that um, crossover Chung Li and Power Ranger one that came with a effects stand so you put your effect on there mm -hmm. but it had some issues that i didn't like because it was just kind of flimsy yeah yeah me as a as a toy maker my literally i am a like toy maker myself i gotta say bro like they look like the like the mafex stuff like you've seen the mafex spider-man and all that that skinny, like with the cusping cuts that they're doing. Oh yeah, that, that, that's what the that's what those articulated points look like. I really, I could, you know, take them or leave them. It doesn't change a damn thing for me. I'm not like, oh my god, now I can finally collect the 2000. If I like it, I like it. I'm I'm pretty deep into the Super Seven Playmate stuff. Like I said, it's all about the sculpt for me, and it yeah. seems like it's the same with you, you know. Because, again, I'm going to set them up the way I want and then just leave them. Yeah, and then you know. have space, because if not, they stay in the box for a corner and six months yeah. later, like, oh, yeah, I bought this. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. See, <laughs> I, I, I kind of laugh at myself for that because I bought that, um, you know, Lord Zed's throne. I'm looking at my setup going, huh, why am I going to put that in there? It's not going to fit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's very true. Uh, uh, any more points or anything else you want to cut? Because we've kind of hit everything as far yeah, as right, right now, what I what we know the Super 7 2003 totals is pretty much it. I mean, it's kind of self explanatory. You can go look at the pictures that we post here, or you can actually just go to the website and look. But it's nothing, in our opinion, at least I'm speaking for myself, at least I think a mask of said the same thing. It's not worth the $55 this time. Are people going to go buy it? Of course, they're going to go buy it because they love these things. But I think they should have had more with it. And they still have time to upgrade the packaging of what comes with it. But I know Super 7 pretty well. They're not going to do it. Yeah. 
that, that you you hit the the last point I was gonna say. As far as them being worth it, fifty five bucks, bro. That there's nothing wrong with it. It's just there's not enough. What you were saying when we first started talking about this, like there is not enough. Like okay, fine, it's fifty five dollars. That's the price, and that's the thing. And you're getting four turtles, so we don't have to bullshit with you know four years of one turtle, one turtle every nine months. Fine. Yeah. I, I oh, would say get in, get out. I appreciate that. But. I would say if these turtles were maybe eight inches or nine inches, maybe then they'd be worth it because you know the extra height would depend on how much more money you would have to spend. But they're not. They're going to be seven inches, and I think Super Seven should have two lines, three lines. Sorry, three lines. They should have the reaction figures, the seven inch ultimate figures with all the accessories that you can ever think of. And then the cheaper line that's just like the action figure with basic accessories. I think that would I think that'd be great because then you have, you know, you still get that ultimate figure, but then you don't have all the accessories. You know, yeah. so you have the option of I just want the figure, that's all I want. I don't care about all the accessories. Or you have I want everything and pay that extra amount of money. Yeah. What what I was gonna say was to kind of end the the 2003 talk for now anyway. As far as packaging goes, now I, I don't know if you've seen some of the renders. Some of the renders actually show like the mock box and what the box is gonna look like in box. Bro, they're they're pretty much uh, using the the playmate style, the yellow and orange. The yeah. Some of the colors. Did you see some of the like the little drawing in the corner the of the character that says Leonardo? Mm -hmm. Those look like the 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 original uh, artwork from the 2003 Playmates stuff. Yeah. So if they're having problems with Playmates, they can't be that serious if they're still jacking their style. Because when they when they did the shift, when they first came out with the with the with the the Ninja Turtles, the the the, the Ultimates, the box, the big uh, green brick looking thing, they went. Completely a different direction than the original uh, packaging from the turtles. That remember, there's two turtles on top, and then one turtle in the corner, and that's your regular Playmates design layout yes. with the with the brown and the we're breaking out of the sewers look. Yeah. yeah. So I I can understand that, and their design was fine. It's it's cool and everything, and the manhole cover for their packaging. But this this doesn't make any sense. If if Playmates don't want you to use their stuff, why are you using their stuff? You're using yeah. some of these guys. I'm not checking one for one at the moment because that's not my job. I'm just like I'm just talking as a fan right now. But you see what I've seen, you know? Yeah, they're, I've seen they're, what you're they're, saying. They're 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 still jacking playmate style. Then if it, if it is playmates, then if it, there's not a problem, then there's not a problem. If there is a problem, then there is a problem. That's my point. You know, I I, I wonder if it's I wonder if it's a tactic. You know, all playmates and super sevens have an issue and. They're really not. And it's just a tactic to get to people. Oh, if I buy Super 7 stuff, it's going to be better than Playmates because it's just more quality. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. yeah. But let's uh, leave it there for the 2003 talk. And let's talk about something else that, you know, the reason people come to this podcast, the one real reason that gets all the, the views. And I'm gonna go off on a fucking thing here, just because it's I've had that type of a week where it's my show, uh, and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know. It's good to know. Okay, no just, like, just like just like you, this is your show. You, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you meant. I know what you meant. I'm just. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So, automotive talk. Apparently, my transmission died, my motor died, and it's because. In in my city, it's been nothing but floods, and everybody's been giving me grief about the floods because apparently I control time, space, and weather, right? That's right. Oh, why are you driving over here when it's flooded? Yes, it was my decision to specifically drive over there <laughs> in in uh, for windshield high rain. Not that I'm stuck between a million cars and I have to do all this other stuff, and bro, like. <clears throat> Look, my friends have been giving me mess about it. The mechanic gave me mess about it. My parents gave me mess about it. Why are you driving? The people at work. I'm 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 on my day job, my nine to five. They're like, oh, why did you go there? You sent me there. 
I, <laughs> I didn't just start, you know, like, hey, you want me to bother you? No, I had a specific reason why I was going to these places and I was doing this thing and I was out on the road during the floods. And now I'm going to have to get a new car and all of this other stuff. And bro, I am not, it doesn't make any sense. And people have been throwing in my face, oh, to go to work, you, you made 90 bucks. And now you're going to have to spend uh, 20000 to get a new car. I was like, yes, because that's that's exactly the type of talk you want to hear after you have a, a week like that, right? After right. your car's been flooded, that's exactly what you want to hear. That's the first thing you want to get. That's the happiest of happiness. So so the question is, are you taking a personal loan out, a car loan? <laughs> I'm going to start doing like the 2003 Turtles and get a, 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 a skateboard <laughs> with a little stick <laughs> just yeah. right out that way. I don't know what I'm going to do, bro. I, even just switching over to another insurance and maybe sticking with one car in the house or or you know, when it, when this car stuff, it almost ends up being the same. You almost end up breaking even no matter what you do. Oh, it doesn't you matter. Finance, or you get this, or you get that, or you fix the car. You know, sometimes you just break It, it doesn't matter what even. car you get. There's always going to be, like, if you buy a brand new car, there might be recalls. So yeah. what happens? You have to take it back to the dealership. You might wait an hour, or you might wait three, four days, you know, depending on the recall. Uh, you buy a used car, you might have some brake issues or something that doesn't seem like there's any issues when you bought it, but then it pops up. I know this for a fact. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So there's I got, a, there's a... yeah, I, I don't know. This is this is a, you can blame me for a lot of things that are my fault, fine. But you literally can't blame me for weather. I have friends that live in New York. You know how many times in New York when when it drops below zero, the windows crack and they have to buy a new windshield. Mm -hmm. people, buy, people buy windshields in New York like it's nothing. Like, oh, my windshield crack. Oh, I get another one. Oh, let's take an Uber. No, bro. Like, you buy oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if you, don't, if you don't want to buy a new car, you can get a new transmission for the car. The car doesn't want to go. <laughs> the car doesn't want to go. I yeah. drove it from the mechanic to my house a block and a half. And the car was... I got you. Because it, 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 it didn't want to go. And I no. picked it up literally like two minutes before they closed. So I couldn't even turn back. Uh, wow. And as soon as I got home, I I, I I talked to my parents about it. And they're like, oh, why did you bring it home? I didn't bring it home to, to take it to the prom. I took it home because I literally was a block. Of... You well, having a rough time with your car. <laughs> Here's to the weather. And for anybody that's going through <laughs> things like this, that some things are just out of your human control, bro. Like, oh, it's raining, or it's hailing, or it's it's snowing, uh, floods, bro. Literally, car blown out for a flood. The car was standing, and the guy wants to charge me like three hundred bucks to flush out the radiator and and the engine of water. And I was like, three hundred dollars for a flush. And he said, oh, we had to repair a valve, too. But it, it's perfect now. And that's why I, I took the car home, because I was like, maybe maybe it was that. But now, I don't know. It's, it's a whole thing. But apologize sounds, to it, everyone who's it, watching that doesn't <laughs> give a shit. Because, but it just happens. Yeah. It's a human thing. It, it yeah. almost sounds like there might have been water, depending on the year of the car and how it's built. It sounds like the water got into the transmission more than into the engine. See, the, the, my car, it doesn't have a, a reader for the transmission, so you have to prop it up to, to actually see if you're missing transmission well or not. Yeah. Or if, if the crack was high enough. But the thing is, like I told you, the, the floods were so bad here. And nobody even reports it in the weather because it's just like we just live here like, it's like Florida. Seattle. Yeah, like it's <laughs> Seattle. It's raining in Seattle. No shit, it's raining in Seattle. It's always raining in Seattle. It's, it doesn't, it's like I can make up a bunch of, you know, allegories or things, but you know, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Uh, anything well, you, you know, want to get off your chest? Because this is the rant tower. <laughs> <laughs> nah, actually, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm pretty good with the rant team. Um, you, you know, it is funny, though, the car thing, because, like, I had bought my car 
my little dodge dart and it needs a front wheel alignment it needs back shocks uh new tires you know we you know the list goes on and on it's just some of the smallest stuff because i took it to the dodge dealership just to get it looked at after i got the brakes repaired and the sensor repaired in the back mm. and um yeah just they have a whole list of stuff and i'm looking at it going some of this is just stupidity stuff that really doesn't need to be done. I just think they're trying to charge an arm and a leg for extra money, you know, because I told them it was a used car, so they just check, 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 you know. Um, uh, you tell them used some car, they, the money size. <laughs> some, some of it I can test out myself and realize, okay, what well, the front end alignment is. You know, you're driving down the road, you let go of the steering wheel, it should go straight. But it's actually kind of gliding to one side. You're like, okay, front real alignment would be probably a good idea. The shocks, well, I can't really tell much about the shocks. Like, I could push on it all day long and uh, won't tell me much. But, yeah. But, again, I don't want to take it to the Dodge dealership because it's going to cost me three times as much as if I took it to, like, Les Schwab for my shocks and, you know, front end or real alignment. Does it have any but sort of warranty? No, it's a it's a used car. It's no, from two thousand. It's from two thousand sixteen. I'm not really worried about it. I just I'm gonna fix it when I get the it's, money it's and little call things, it a day. right? Yeah, it's little yeah, things. It's like they up. wanted to replace the windshield wipers on this car. I'm going, they work hundred percent just fine. I should know. I live in again. I live close to Seattle. It rains a lot. I won't know when I need to change my windshield wipers. Eh? <laughs> you know? They, they're just yeah, to, it does. <laughs> that, that's one of those things I like. Oh, they're just trying to get money out of me. You know, windshield wipers, I know they're working just fine. Yeah. Only thing I only thing I really would want Dodge to do is flush my transmission. But they said it didn't need to be done. But I don't think they really checked it. So I might call them up and see how much of the transmission flush. Because I don't know any place else is going to do it, you know, because a lot of places won't touch transmissions. But they will. Because they said, oh, you should get your transmission flush every 30,000 miles or something like that. And the only reason I want to do it is because I don't know when it was done last, you know. What what I was thinking about doing, because, man, I, bro, to buy, buy another car... What I was thinking about doing, but it might end up being like just a waste of money is is like leasing a car for a year and like paying off the lease of a year. And then in a year, I, I, I bring back the car and, and then we'll see where I am because, bro, you know, buying a car is a hit, bro. Buying a car is not oh, like yeah. getting a soda or, or some bullshit. And, and the other thing with the buying a car, any sort of newer car that you're financing, your interest rates and your your what goes to the balance ends up being such bullshit. It's like you, well, I, you might as well lease it. You. I I will tell you, um, yeah. If you're gonna buy a car, go through the bank. Don't use the car dealerships. They're gonna cost you a lot more on the interest side. Um, yeah. Go through your bank, and you can get a lower interest, especially yeah. if your credit's good. You know. A lot of the people in my job do do it like that. They're like, "Oh, I, I pay five hundred dollars a month, or I pay you know, five hundred dollars, you know, eight hundred dollars every two months, or something like that." And then they're like, yeah. "Like, yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do?" It's because they're paying back the bank. They're not paying the car lot. They're not paying like Chevy or Dodge or whoever Jeep my, Chrysler. Yeah. My my problem isn't just that. My my issue with it is okay. I give you five hundred dollars to pay for the car, right? Technically, that's not going straight. Out of those five hundred dollars that I give you, you gotta cut it in half. If you're yeah. lucky, two fifty are going to what you actually owe on the car. Maybe another eighty bucks go in taxes. Uh, the service charges go go like forty bucks, and maybe a hundred and ten, a hundred and twelve go into uh. It, it pure interest, pure interest. So what did oh, you? Yeah. Have, so you didn't pay five hundred dollars that month. You paid two fifty. And I know we live in a time where money is meaningless, but but still, money is still money, because this shit Super Seven wants fifty five dollars for an empty box. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but we, we yeah. it is what it is. It is well, what it I, is. I, I I really feel lucky for what I got now, seeing what Super Seven is doing. You know. Yeah. I mean, even the remake of the uh, 
Ultraviolet Green Ranger comes with nothing for fifty-five dollars. I guess you're just paying for the paint. Oh, and I don't know if you saw this. Kind of on the Super Seven thing, they're doing one, another one of the Lunatics, and it's like eighty-five dollars, and it's one big character and one little character. Yeah, that's supposed yeah. to be a, a witch girl or something. I, don't, I just saw it, and I was like, "Bro, yeah, I I saw it. Yeah, I've been keeping a good eye on." The toy companies because I kind of do a report every week on my channel. Yeah. At least I try. I yeah. kind of missed last week because I got a little too busy with work and family. Uh, I have one. Well, well, I have. You didn't prioritize this over your family. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I Shame on you. Right. <laughs> but I already have a lineup of stuff I'm reporting on. I just have to do the voiceover because yeah. I, I do kind of a cool little thing. I. I do my main, you know, opening this way, and then I post everything and just do a voiceover over it, and, you know, telling what it is, my thoughts, my pattern, you know, whatever, how yeah. much it's worth sometimes, depending if I know the price or not, and yeah, and yeah. it goes pretty well. Uh, so you ready for some news? Yeah, sure. Let's hit it. All right. So. These are some news bites. Now we're done with the main topic and automotive. <laughs> yeah, we already um, lost everybody. It's okay. Uh, maybe we got more people. <laughs> they were just fast forwarding to when do they start talking about cars? Uh, so, first thing, uh, San Diego, uh, some of their releases for loyal subjects, they've released three different figure images of what's going to be available at San Diego. The first is uh, Foot Elite with a shinobi type head. I don't know if you've seen this one. It's got like a like a hooded uh, shinobi type head, but it's basically the same foot, foot elite, so it's just a new head, I think. There's that one. There's also uh, the Jenica Battle Ready, the girl turtle that's Battle Ready. I do know that one, yes. That looks exactly like the other one. It just looks like they used a, a darker black, right? right? Of course, like, it looks like the... the Again, we've talked about this. They use one mold over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I, I'm looking at it like the regular Jenica figure is is grayish, charcoal gray, and then this yeah. one is is just black, black, right? The, yeah. It, it, they didn't give a clear picture. They just put like the corner of a side of a box with the glare. <laughs> so, <laughs> I almost love that type of branding. <laughs> you have to buy it to figure it out. I like that. Yeah. And, and the third uh, reveal so far, because I think they're going to be doing more reveals, is uh, Dark Leonardo, which is basically the IDW Leonardo with a little more armor in it and red pieces. Yeah. Which which is a cool look, because the pop version of it, I don't know if you saw it last year, that they had a, a pop of Dark Leonardo. That one did pretty well. So there's yeah. that. Uh, the next... Uh, a news item is uh, Masco released the, the five points uh, Ninja Turtles. They've been shipping them. Not the uh, fully articulated ones. The, the ones that are like pop in, pop out. They are oh. all four. four yeah. heads, they're, they're like three and a half inches. They're pretty small. The, those those yeah. are shipping right now. I've seen some reviews on them. So for those of you wondering, that's coming out. Excuse me. Next, some actual Power Ranger news. On Kawabanga Ranger Talk. Ain't that oh, weird. wow. <laughs> so, Dino Thunder Black is back in pre orders. It's being uh, pre ordered now on Big Bad. I think Entertainment Earth might have it. Uh, Amazon, maybe. No, so, I, I saw a post on Facebook that someone actually got can Entertainment Earth had to cancel uh, Dino yeah. Thunder Black. Like, they posted it, and then I don't know if Hasbro's like, we're not doing it. But they cancel people's orders, so I don't know what's going on there. It, maybe it becomes a, a fan channel exclusive because it's uh, it might be oh only Big Bad's going to do it now, or they just moved everything. That to that's Bad. possible. Or or another thing, I I do think they're going to do this one number one because it's Tommy. So there's no way you don't do Tommy if you can make Tommy. If you just have to like rerun the machines to reprint the figures, re. But you've already released it because they're not releasing the whole wave. They're not re remaking the entire. I think this was like fourteen. I think, I think it's just the dino. Yeah, 
I think they're just clearing out the warehouse warehouses because yeah, that, that might they be. keep like um a lot of the stuff that's been sold out has all of a sudden come back. And it's like they must found like a corner that had all these extra boxes. Um yeah. Or cancel the orders from Walmart or something. They're like, you know what? We don't want it anymore. We took it off the pegs. Yeah. It's not coming but, back till next year, so you can have it back. But again, speaking of pre-orders, I suppose in August, they're supposed to announce the ma- the Morpher, the OG Lightning Collection Morpher yeah. uh, on Entertainment Earth. So there's actually a post, you know, one of those teaser posts talking mm-hmm. about Hasbro releasing... I don't know about one, but something about being powerful or something again. It's like okay, and I know it's going to mean coming up to being pre-ordered because I was one of those lucky ones that had it pre-ordered in the card that's still in the card, and they haven't mm-hmm. canceled it. So I know it's still maybe coming, mm-hmm. but even um, Josh was talking about how they're re-releasing it. So keep an eye out for that, guys. If you interested in getting the old-fashioned classic morpher not then this you know yellow pink whatever just the old-fashioned morpher that looks like the old-fashioned bandai one but bigger and yes i'm keeping that for pre-order even though my budget's pretty tight because i will have the master morpher and then the og morpher one for one you know that that og morpher does that come with the five coins or six Comes, coins? comes with the five coins the base and it makes no talking sound it doesn't talk. It just lights up like the old-fashioned Bandai one. I think if you hold it down, Alpha 5 was... I, 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 I. Oh, something like that. You know, they all have those Easter eggs, but they don't... It doesn't talk, as far as I know. It doesn't yeah. go like... Some people like it as a prop, yeah. Yeah, it's an actual prop, and I think that's great. That's what I wanted. I didn't want ones that are like, oh, it's your turn, that turn, whatever they say. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't want to hear that, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, yeah. The next, the next uh, news item is uh, Big Bad is getting the Alien Rangers five pack that was originally an exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. Oh, that okay. five pack that I've had. They've been actually, they've been pre-ordering and they have some stuff. They have this is the funny thing, funny, funny uh, oddity wise. They have more stuff. Big Bad has more items for sale of Power Rangers than Hasbro Pulse does. Ain't that fucking weird to even say as a sentence? Like, eh? Yes, actually, last time I went on uh, Big you Bad. You see it, right? Like, they yeah. have a, Big Bad still has the Dragon's, Dragon Dagger first sell, not pre order, but first sell. Like, everybody like, always wanted it, wanted it. I remember all the posts, and now that it's out there, being able to be bought right now, not pre ordered. It's just, it's just, it's a, I don't think people know to go scroll through Big Bad. I think they just type in Power Rangers or something and you get yeah. Super 7, you get Mezco, you get uh, Bandai, you get all this other Zero, stuff, you yeah. know. Yeah. And they're just like, oh, okay, it's just high-end collectible stuff, $600 Megazord and this and that. They're like, nah. Click, you know, because that's Big Bad Toy Store is very high-end collectible stuff. Comparatively speaking to entertainment, you go to entertainment earth, yeah, you're gonna find a few thousand dollar statues, but you're not gonna find a thousand dollar Power Ranger toy, you know. I've seen the statue. You see this thing with Power Rangers that they have these statue figures with Zordon in the middle, and Zordon's the only one that lights up. Yeah, they're, like, they're like three hundred dollars a piece, and I think it's mm-hmm. like two thousand yeah. for the whole set. Yeah, it comes with like a base and a stand and all that. Like the command center, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that, that's something, all right. But uh, getting back to uh, the news, this is a quick a little news thing, but it, it bothers the hell out of me. And nobody ever talks about this Toxic Crusader, so I'll talk about oh, it. Oh, here we go. I saw this and I thought of you when I saw this. this oh, man, man, this, <laughs> this may be. This is Super 7 packing super light, bro. The Super 7 is making a Toxic Avenger version of the toxic crusader of the version of the movie figure using the same sculpt they've done i guess this is version six or seven recolor and it's got even less 
you you saw how little they it only brings the mop two heads and, and another head. That's it. And again, Super Seven's losing his t losing their touch. You know, I'm I'm sorry to say, guys. Bro, what are you doing? Like you're packing yeah. super. Like, everything's basically a, a repaint. I think the alternate head is a little like altered as far as, but I don't think it's a brand new skull. I think it's because um, I'm a 3D modeler. I, you've seen some of my stuff. Like I know how to model. So if you model in one pose. In, in the stoic, regular face. I can make another model like this. <laughs> the angry yeah. face, right? I didn't yeah. re-sculpt the whole freaking thing. All I did was <laughs> lift a couple of polygons here and call it a day and call it a second yeah. head. That's, that's, that's what they did with the Toxic Avenger. Uh, all they did was droop down a little more of the face and, oh, no, it's a brand new head sculpt. No, it's not. You're full of shit. <laughs> Sorry to curse. Yeah, but, you, know, you know, I'm kind of wondering... <laughs> I'm wondering if trauma has something to do with this. I don't know. Because it's it seems like all they do is the one sculpt over and over and over again. And I'm I'm sorry to say this, but I can't help but laugh. Because I know how much you hate that. And every time I see it, it's like, here we go again. Here we go again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, I'm not going to tell him about it. Because I know he's totally seen it. Or he's gonna get really mad about it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, did you you saw the renders? They didn't even put a black wash on it. No. Because only one of the renders has black wash on it. The other ones they just left it as the hell with it. And if it's supposed to be the movie version, isn't he supposed to be more scuffy, more dirty-ish? Because yeah. he's a Avenger, not the Toxic Crusaders with the bright colors and I don't know. Yeah. Just well a thing, I guess. If trauma if trauma actually had their hand in it, you would get like goo and stuff with them. <laughs> if they had a really, if they had a working, I don't see that's the thing. I don't know trauma, but I have to figure they're they're doing something. Where they're with uh, Trick or Treat Studios now, so Trick or Treat Studios they're they're releasing a a Doctor Kill 'em off in in about a month and a half. Yeah. They really they created a brand new Toxie. I don't know if Trick or Treat is the actual sculptor of these new figures, or they're still like going uh, third party and making Varner Studios like the middleman. I don't know. I'd have to look more into it. But if somebody in the comments knows, please let us know. Put that in there because apparently there's only five of us that like Toxic Crusaders. So uh, <laughs> hey, I like I like the movies. I like the cartoon. I never played the video games, but yeah. Uh, Again, yeah, trauma. The video game trauma, coming tra out soon, right? Trauma makes good movies. You know, they they really do. If you like, kind of like a cheesy type movie, just to sit there and go, hmm. You know, trauma makes some really good ones, some really nasty looking wild ones. Stuff. Yeah, you know, right. uh, but when it comes to the, yeah, when it comes to the actual action figure, Toxic Crusader, Toxie himself, it seems like they just want to focus on him and nothing else in betray. And it, it's kind of funny in a way, because like you don't need to keep reprinting them, because he's just getting reprinted. Re so he's gonna have a shelf of all of them just sitting there. Yeah. You know, everybody's gonna be like, "Why did you paint them over and over again?" I didn't. I had to buy each one of these for fifty-five dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It might, it might be the cheapness of the sculpt. Maybe it's the factory that only wants to do it. It could be a million things, but it just yeah. we're. We're on the side of the consumer, and on the side of the consumer, it seems like bullshit. On the side well, of the actual manufacturer, it might be a legitimate thing. I don't, I don't know their their stuff like that. So I, I well, like like I said, said, like I said, when it comes to my MM, MMPR collection, I am really hoping that McFarlane makes them a seven inch figure of Scorpina because Super Seven is dropping the ball. I don't see the point of paying fifty five dollars for nothing. Yeah, Mc, McFarlane is this weird thing too, because like I have nothing on McFarlane because there's nothing to say. No, McFarlane hasn't done any real releases of anything lately. I mean, yeah, he did Batman. Anything. He did Batman. You know, no, as far but... as the Power Ranger license that he's had no. for eight months now. But see, I would think he, he I would think Playmates. I think Playmates sort of like teaser trailer something by now too. You know, I, but I think, I think they're they're showing out at San Diego because they they basically. <laughs> Wait for San Diego for Playmates. So, yeah. but as far as McFarland, the you point on McFarland, 
He's had what well, every every other episode we do, and we do it sporadically. You know what mm-hmm. I'm going to say on that. Well, so. I I know he did the Transformers, so he does know. I do know he's working with Hasbro at least because he had the Transformer line that came out not too long ago. Yeah, he, but we, we, but that we said we said it on another show. He's basically the most powerful toy company right now because he's controlling Marvel and DC, even in yeah. statue form, and he's controlling McFarlane Spawn. His universe plus the other universes he's worked on, because he's worked on, you know, DC. He's worked on Spider-Man. He's worked on Batman. He did. He's done comics. He's done this. He's done that. He's done statues. His sculptors are are some, when they when they hit it, they hit it. But I don't know what what the thing is with the the whole thing. But you know, I, I don't I don't know. It's just yeah, McFarlane, great toys, great toys. Nothing bad about McFarlane toys, but then when it comes to this Power Ranger thing, it's just. Dead in the water. As bad as Hasbro, dead in the water. <laughs> you know what I would like McFarlane to do? And it, this just came to me, and this is just something that he can do. And it would really, really show just how good of a of a corporation or a conglomerate he is, because he is producing at a rapid pace. You see, he, he pumps out, even if it is color swap, he color swaps pretty fast. He's like loyal subjects rhythm. He's got some and he's steady. Oh, yeah. He's steady. But what I I like him to do with Power Rangers, don't even start any more figures. Don't do any of that. You know what I like? I like seven inch, highly articulated Megazords. Give me a line of Megazord. Give me the Dino Megazord. Give me the Dragon Zord. Give me the Time Force Megazord. Just stick to Megazords. Don't go into the ranges that people have bought a hundred times. Give us nice Megazords. You know, give us the the Dino Thunder Megazord. Give us the Brachiosaur. Give us what, Megazord. Just make a Megazord line. That's what I like to make Farley to do. Seven inch me- Megazord line. Would they transform? Would they transform? No, no, no. So, so, don't even worry about that because uh, Hasbro has a thing about only we can transform and you can't transform, which is part of their issues with Takara and Transformers <laughs> and with Playmates and you know, with that stuff. This was a, an issue too with uh, with uh, your boys, uh, Super 7. They couldn't make transforming Megazords. They had to make them, you know, one piece, basically uh, stationary Megazords. So they, 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 they can't transform. They can't transform. The, the so I Megazord, like just the clean line. Yeah, the Megazord himself is very bendable from Super 7. Yeah. I'll give him that. The Dragonzord's kind of Stiff. Tight, but it, 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 it doesn't really it doesn't really affect it though because the, yeah. the tail on that dragon's sword is beautiful it's articulated to he- hell and back but um i don't know how much more mcfarland could do i'm sorry i'm looking at him going i don't know how much more mcfarland could do for movement and then the megazord maybe some more but the dragon sword is kind of a bulky, you know, kind of tight here yeah. naturally, you know. Um, anything else you would do with the Dragons Order would look unnatural for the TV show. Well, the look, Dragons Order specifically, you got waste because he has to be able to do the Godzilla. The, ah, yeah. That. You need the ball rocker there. You need arms to move so he can blast the bullets, right? The fingertip bullets. You need the legs to move somewhat. So I think our, uh, he could do all right there. You you need the feet to kind of move in and out. And then you need a, a highly articulated tail for the dragon sword because dragon sword doesn't move a neck. So And you need a jaw. That, those are the the bare articulation points. So I think McFarlane could do something like that. Yeah. And you know you know he'd, he'd make a black and white version. You know he'd make a black and white version of the Dino Megazord. He'd make a black and white version of the Dino, the, the Dragon Zord. All of these, bro, Power Rangers has been around long enough that every year is basically an anniversary of something anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the three-year of, <laughs> of Time Force. Oh, no, this is the 12th year of SPD. We have to set up. All right, bro, so get, get these damn Megazords out. I no, yeah. think it'd be all right. And here's another thing that I think would really benefit McFarlane into making a Megazord line. Since they don't have to have a million points of articulation, it's cheaper to make. The more points of articulation, the more cuts you have to make, the more renders, you, the more articulation, the more pegs you have to slide into this. But, bro, Megazords 
have to move the arms, the legs, the waist, the head, and and maybe some feet. That that's basically most most megazords, right? Yeah. So it's it's not as articulated as if you're making a flash figure. If you're making a flash figure, you need to make double bending knees and they need to stretch out to here because uh, he's the flash. He needs to fucking haul ass. I'm, I'm sorry to curse, but <laughs> he needs to pose in a certain way, right? Like, there's no need to be. No. <laughs> no, I do, I do have a question. I do have a question for you. Shoot. Play, Playmates Megazord. How do you think that's going to connect? Because they make Voltron. I saw someone put Voltron together. I think it looked a lot better connection wise than what we get from the original Bandai version, the Super Set or Hasbro's Lightning Collection version. Uh, the way they connect the Voltron. How, how hypothetically it would look, is that what you mean? The, no, the, just the connections the themselves. Yeah, the Playmates Dino Megas or whatever. Yeah, because Voltron, the Voltron connection with the legs and stuff. There's an actual little flap that folds down. So when you actually connect it, it looks perfect. Where, like, the Hasbro one, at least the cheap one, will look kind of offset. Yeah. And, like, it's just not even close to what it should look like. I think Playmates could actually do a better connection with the legs and the arms, you know? I think they're going to make... I think they're gonna make somewhere between the 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 cheap Megazord that that we got last year from yeah. Hasbro and uh, and the and the Zord extension. Diamond. Yeah, I think they're they're gonna try to fall somewhere in the middle of there. I hope so because as, as, Zord... as far as articulation points and things yeah. like that. Because... I heard the Zord extension one was just crap. I never had it, but I heard it was crap. You didn't want to mess with it. <laughs> I, I have a friend he, he got it and he was like man I love this thing and, and I was like bro you're the first person to tell me <laughs> you actually loved it I was like well like I you're, said if I can, you're that guy yeah if, if I can find them both the dragons or the megazord for very cheap I mean very cheap I would probably pick it up what I mean by cheap is like fifty dollars because oh. I I just hear they're bad bro I if I if you tell me a hundred dollars for the Dino Megazord, all right, so let's 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 run it then, or whatever, ninety bucks plus ten shipping, a hundred bucks, yeah, let's. Because the thing is, it's not gonna be a, a an actual collection line; it's just a one-off, right? Like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna buy the Dino Megazord and the Dragonzord because you need the pair. You need yeah. Luke, you need Vader, but after that, you're done. You're, you're there's no more. You're not gonna buy no Astro Megazord. Come on. No, it has the same problem as the original one did. All the arms and I think that's kind of off. funny too. Yeah, you're not gonna buy the black and gold uh, Dino Megas. You're not gonna buy the. It's basically an in and out. So that that's how I see it too. It's not yeah. a slippery slope. With uh, with other companies, sometimes you get a slippery slope. Like uh, I'd be the first to admit, I didn't figure I'd have as many loyal subjects things as I do now. Because <laughs> <laughs> remember, I think like our first or second episode, I was like, I'm not buying this stuff, and then you know. About a year later, I guess <laughs> this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so it, well, it sneaks up on you, bro. It sneaks up on you. Yeah. Because it's rarely available, but um, well, Play Playmix did release the original Red Mask Ninja Turtles again, the little thinner ones that they had. It's actually a 40th anniversary one too. I haven't yeah, seen them anywhere. The scratches, the one with all the scratches on them. That's the one you. Yeah, about. and the, the the thin body turtles. Yeah. Not the big heavy ones, but again, they're supposed to be in Walmart. I can't find them anywhere, so I've it's like okay. The, the black, the the black white, the black and white ones. I've seen them on Amazon. So you yeah. Them there. Well, they but released yeah. them all in black and white, and then we also released them with the red bandanas too. So they have two versions they released, and they're, but... and they're full green colors. Yeah. 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 You know what you're talking about. Uh, but let's uh, get back to the news here because we're like halfway in. Uh, Mutant Mayhem, The if you guys haven't picked up your Mutant Mayhem figures, now's a good time because, like I said earlier, they're on clearance at Target and most Walmarts. And you could print it. I got a, an entire set for 20 bucks. Like I said, for 20 bucks, you're not going to beat that for anything. So if you haven't and you're wondering about the figures, I personally i have been collecting the Turtles for a while. I know uh, DTV's been collecting them for a while and seen them. You know, obviously, we run the thing. So I, I can recommend them. 
I own the Mutant Mayhem Turtles and the main bad guys because I got that battle pack thing that had the little display on it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they're fantastically built. They're great. I still don't have Splinter, and I don't have April O'Neil because April O'Neil has not been released yet as a single pack. Yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get her just through Amazon one of these days because I have seen her on Amazon, and I've seen her on eBay, but I think she might be like a UK exclusive now because there's no way you're going to keep restocking the shelves with Mutant Mayhem. We're moving no. into Tales of the it's, Turtles. Speaking of that, tell them tell the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Have you seen her in that thing? They've been releasing a couple of the trailers. Like the last thing I heard was, uh, you probably did a video on this. Uh, Pete Davidson's gonna play one of the characters. Is, yeah. Is he, re- is he replacing Michelangelo's voice actor? Is that is that what I heard? Is, or am I wrong? Yeah, on I, that? I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I know there's a lot of changes in that show because, uh, again, the voice actors that did the movie. Growing up, and they have other things going on, you know, and they took forever to get to the show. So, yeah. Well, my thing is the four turtles, like, because they got, uh, like, rising actors, like, rising stars. So, those kids doing the turtles would sound different, anyways, because you're going through puberty yeah. in real life. So, it would kind of flow with them. But I, I didn't know if Pete Davidson actually took one of the, one of the kids' jobs or something. I'm not too sure. It might just be a different character altogether. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was just like a bad thumbnail or a bad reporting thing. So yeah, I couldn't tell you either way. Uh, here's a, another thing we were we were kind of speaking of uh, a little bit ago. Now everybody and their mother seems to be doing a video on Hasbro not wanting Power Rangers. Oh man, you know what? I am going to make one of those too, but I'm going to be doing it a little more in depth. Cause yeah. I was thinking, I thought about this. Everybody's saying, That's "Oh, didn't want right now, yeah. And I, I can tell you right now, without even making a video, without ever going back to watching one again, I know exactly what they're talking about and how this works. So, the original owner of, you know, Hasbro, uh, Brian Golden, I think his last name was, yeah. uh, bought Power Rangers for five, five hundred and twenty-two million dollars. Behind Hasbro's back. So, yes, he was the CEO, but he didn't ask for permission or nothing. He just went underneath everybody's noses and bought it. So, yeah, Hasbro didn't want it. He wanted it and got it. And then when Hasbro had all the paperwork, uh, when he had all the paperwork signed underneath Hasbro's name, they had no choice but to make the, you know, figures. Yeah. And so, of course, when he passed away, they still had this IP that you no, know, he they didn't care. They're like, oh, there we go. We have an IP. I don't care about it. Do you guys care about it? No, we would rather do Transformers. We would rather do G.I. Joe. We would rather do Spider-Man, the stuff that we really cared about. This was just this guy's dream and passion. Yeah. So again, it makes plenty of sense to move it on to Playmates and move it on to this company, move it on to Hulu, move it on to, you know, whatever, for whatever part of it, because they don't care. But, you know, yeah. it, gets, it gets deep. If you really go into the production of it, it gets pretty deep. Yeah. You know you know what? I'm. It's just the back of the, my, my mind type thing, type of a question that there might be some sort of deal with Playmates that like, hey, look, if you can keep the brand alive, we'll, we'll, we'll eventually sell you majority share. I don't think they'd, they'd share it all out. No. But I, I, I would see them like making Playmates because – there's no way Playmates doesn't want a big, you know, five star franchise like this, anyways. Well, if, see, if, that, they, that's if they the, give them the right price, like, so my see, thing that's would be, the thing. That's the thing know? is that Hasbro there has to be some be, sort of work in there because Hasbro bought it for five hundred twenty-two million. If they just handed it over to somebody or sold it back to Bandai, like a lot of people want it to be done, um, only they will have to charge. Less because they kind of killed the IP because there's no TV show, no nothing to go with it now. Now it's just a toy line. Yeah. And yeah, of course, Bandai is, you know, would pick it back up for no Paul because they still make, you know, Sentai. And they would just take the Sentai figures and ship them back over to Bandai America, you know, with different heads. That's uh, very parallel what's 
to what's been happening in wrestling. I don't know if you know anything about wrestling. Uh, uh, last thing I saw was the crossover with, uh, I think it's Turtles, actually. Oh, yeah, that's in the notes, but like wrestling-wise, <laughs> you don't really like follow it, right? Yeah, no, so, I don't really follow wrestling anymore. I used to as a younger younger man. We, we, well, basically, the parallel is that there was this comp, there's this TNA wrestling that people have been looking down their noses at for for at least 11 years now. Uh, they've lost all their stars. They've lost everything. They've lost all their money. And then all of a sudden, they get a little rhythm, and they start picking up again, and then they rebrand themselves back to TNA because they were Impact Wrestling for a little bit. And now people are seeing the value in this company. This company's been around for 21 years, 22 years. There's no way TNA was going to go away, just like Ninja Turtles, just like Power Rangers. And here's my parallel for for uh, for Power Rangers. Power Rangers, you spent $522 million, right? Let's say, uh, let's be nice. Let's be nice. Let's say we made 80, uh, hypothetically, let's say Hasbro's made $100 million of it back, right? You still have $400 million that are 422, 450 with taxes that, that are unaccounted for, right? Yeah. Here, here's where TNA has always been smart and Power Rangers, uh, it's, a, it's still TV shows. And here's the brilliance of it. Your foreign markets. If you're sell, if you're selling Cosmic Fury to other markets that are not just Netflix locked in, but people in Cuba, in Peru, in Chile, in uh, Argentina, in in the UK, they don't even have to translate it. It's still English to English, right? The, yeah. the British, <clears throat> the British companies. You keep uh, licensing out your show to keep broadcasting on television. You start making some of that money back which is something TNA's been able to do for the 11 years that they've been dying at. So Power Rangers could have another $100 million there. I'm not saying they are, but it has been a couple of years. Because Hasbro's had Power Rangers, what, like four or five years now? At least. <clears throat> at least, yeah. $100 million is not that hard to make in five years. No. If, you, if What did you make? $25 million a, a year? If you, 25, 25, 25, 25? In licensing, licensing, you you get to a hundred million. So my thing is, Power Rangers is not as bad as some people would have you think it is. So I I think that the the percentages narrow out more. I think oh. the whole right now would be like two fifty. If if Playmates can get like one fifty, two hundred, as far as money, two hundred million to become majority shareholder, majority holder of Power Rangers, I think because they don't they don't. It is what it is what, right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I don't know. If we're talking about just cutting even, because how many blockbuster movies have we seen and they're like, oh, that's a $500 million movie. It made 40 <laughs> bucks. Right. Right? <laughs> it made 40 bucks in but the top box office. How good should have made that money back by now? Because Boom Studios, you know, Hasbro has to have the license with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah but um, companies don't sell like that. TV, uh, TV deals and TV well, licensing yeah. does make more, a lot more money than. Oh yes, but I'm just saying in general, yeah. and um, all sorts of other things that they've done. You know, uh, the video game's coming out, the new Power Rangers video game. I don't know if you've seen that yet. Yeah, Power Rangers has other avenues that they've made money with Hasbro. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that that's a lock. I'm just talking about the two main things would be toys. Oh and yeah. TV distribution. The, oh the yeah. If. You put my hand to the fire. How much do you think uh, Boom Comics made for Power Rangers? And this isn't uh, Bloomberg money or, or money talks, but <laughs> it's, it's kind you of where we're going. Go there? I, mean, I do do, I do, we do talks. We can do this. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying here. So you know yes. what I'm talking about. It's like, I, I think it is possible if, if I had to put a number, I'd say maybe 150000 Boom Comics yeah. has made them. If I, if I have to like, and that's being generous. That's that's saying you you made uh, twenty five thousand dollars a year in in comics, net net profit, not net gross, net profit. After yeah. you paid the printers, after you paid everybody else, I think more or less twenty five twenty seven thousand dollars. So, so you might have gotten another hundred thousand, but I don't think you made it to millions. Well, since, since since we're talking about the TV show slash movie slash you know whatever. There's been two posts that I've read. One's from David Yosh, and one's from Mamie Joe Johnson. Yeah. 
Yeah. They are both David Yosh is rewriting his Power Ranger script because he wants to try to get it published for TV. Mm-hmm. And Amy Jo Johnson's trying to get and I think this one's not gonna fly. I would love to see it, but they would have to get new actors, and that's gonna be kind of a killer for a lot of people. The return into an actual show. Yeah. And I would I would love to see it, but again, it's gonna it would kill I don't think it would fly very well because they would need new actors to play Jay, to play Tommy. Um, that's pretty much it. Tommy and all the other ones because they're supposed to be all grown up, you know. And you would have to actually at get David Yosh, and again, Jason and all of them to come back. And it's just like I don't see them looking as a team again. David Yosh and Amy Jo Johnson, yeah, they still look as a team. You know, they even do they even read the comics online together. Um. Well, she's but, writing yeah. in front of them, right? So, like, that's like me me reading Mascara Fighters. I created Mascara Fighters. Of course I would mm-hmm. read the book. Like, duh. Like, if she wrote this, yeah. the, the return, she would have to read her own work. And, and see, right now, because it's been out long enough, I'm just going to spoil it. At the end of the return, the White Ranger pops up. And it's not Tommy. It's a female. And I, I love that ending, that it's a female White Ranger. And it's the Tiger's Lord, right, Ranger, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, hey, can can we do something real quick? Can we just uh, stop uh, recording for a second? And we're back. You were saying about the return. You were talking about. Oh the yeah, so Amy Jo Johnson's trying to get Hasbro to make the live action the return, and I think it's a great idea because like I like I just spoiled the ending a few minutes ago with the White Ranger in the command center asking what happened to Zordon, and this has to be continued. So again, there's going to be a second part of this series coming out, but yeah, it's it would be a very um, <clears throat> unique to see a live action of that. But I don't think the fans would actually really want a live action comic book. I think it's I think it's a great comic book, but I don't know. I think they would want something more than that. You, you think there's enough story there? Or? I think it's enough it's story. I think it's a nice story to make a mini series, but yeah. not a full series. Feature movie type thing. It, it'd be kind of like it, it'd be kind of like the um, passing down the torch type series. Because at the end of the um, comic book, again, I'm sorry if you haven't read it, but uh, Kimberly gives her morpher to her daughter. Um. Even though her daughter was actually the Green Ranger for a little bit in the comic book, because she found her dad's morpher. Uh, and um, anyways, it's a, I don't want to get into it. So if somebody hasn't read it, they don't and don't go. Oh, wow, that's really cool that that happened. Um, but isn't yeah, the, isn't the Green Ranger in the comics like the son of of uh, Tommy? No, oh, I, was, I was gonna say that. No, that that's a that's uh, you're thinking of JJ. The timeline's a, a little funny there. That's a, <laughs> that's a different universe. JJ <laughs> is Tommy's and Cat's son, and yeah. this one, this is Kimberly and Tommy's daughter. So Cat doesn't exist in this universe. Cat does not exist. It's the original cast: Zach, Trini, and so on. Yeah. Uh, but Trini's dead, so, and Tommy, as far as people know in the beginning, dies in this comic, as far yeah. as people know. Um, but I kind of spoiled it there if you listen to that carefully. <laughs> so, but it'd be, yeah. it'd be, I think it'd be a great miniseries, like something that you would put in just to pass down the torch. To the kids, but the only thing, the only one I know I had a kid in that comic was Kimberly and Tommy. Um, well, isn't that? Uh, didn't Billy actually write up like like a treatment and a whole like like a mini series, the Quantum Continuum thing? Wasn't that's that what he idea? yes, that's what he wrote, and it was turned like a down. mini series, right? Yeah, that was a mini series. But that one was turned down, and so he's trying to rewrite it to pitch it again with a different. Outlook, I guess, different outcome, maybe. I don't know. Well, Hasbro used some of their ideas, some of his ideas in uh, in Once and Always, so it's not like they just said the hell with you. Obviously, they brought him in and they, they oh, yeah, appreciated his expertise. 
course. As a long-time franchise guy. So. Yeah. No, I know sooner or later somebody's going to come up with a TV show or a movie and Hasbro will go, okay, let's do it. But I do know for a fact that the original 2025 TV show, Netflix original, yeah, is not going to happen. That, that one was canceled, canceled, and eh, oh well, too bad. Now, now that you say that, more since we're talking about the the Hasbro not being wanted or, or not wanting power, just there, there's been some more reports on this that, you know, Hasbro and Netflix, the, the Power Ranger project fell apart because there was no specific pitch. It was just yeah. a vague idea. Netflix was like, okay, we're ready, to do, but you need to give us a specific pitch. You want to do a 12 episode? You want to do this? Hasbro didn't actually step up and give them an exact layout of the game plan, basically. Yeah. They just said we have a we have a an idea for a thing, but it's uh, I have an idea for a thing. That's like me saying I'm going to a place with a person. No shit, you know. <laughs> Sorry to curse, but you have to be more specific if, if you want to walk into Netflix and say, "Let let me get three hundred million dollars right quick." You, I'm sorry, but anybody you ask for three hundred million dollars, you need because come on, that's more or less what we're gonna play with. It we're gonna do two two years of Power Rangers. They're gonna split it into whatever. You have to have some sort of idea. Yeah, no, I just... Well, according to my understanding, is they had the whole script they written did. out, they had everything, and then the uh, two people that had it all done, yeah. Hasbro said, no, no, we don't like this one. And so that's part of the Netflix issue and Hasbro's issue, that they actually had everything completed, not recorded, but completed in script form and... As contract far as the with game Netflix. Plan and everything, yeah. yeah, had a contract with Netflix. And then Hasbro goes, No, we don't like that anymore. We don't like that script. So now we're gonna rewrite it. And Netflix has probably said, No, you guys are taking too long. This is ridiculous. Can't afford you. The only other thing I heard, and and this is it makes a lot of sense, is Netflix said, Okay, but where's your talent pool? Because you broke up the contract with New Zealand. So yeah. where are we gonna get these actors? where, where are we gonna film this? Back if in you California. Bro- <laughs> Netflix ain't trying to pay no California money, bro. You crazy. Half these shows are made in Canada anyway. Can you imagine? Wednesday going- and all this. Can you imagine them going back to the new... Can you imagine if they used the old command center for the new show? You know how many fans would just love that? The building. Right. I don't care what it looks like inside, just the building. When they come out, you just see that old-fashioned command center. I think that's like that, a science building in real life, right? It, it like a science museum or something? It, it's something. I don't know. But the, people would just go nuts. All the old fans would go nuts just to see that. Even if the show was meant for kids, the family that's watching, the dad or the mom that loved Power Rangers would be like, oh, my God, it's that. It's that. It's that. And then the kid would be like, what? And then the pair would have to put on their show and be like, see, it's the same thing. It's the same command yeah. center, you know? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know because... It would also be like hypothetically, if you go back to California, you you got to deal with Fran Drescher and and SAG and all of these people, and the nanny ain't playing around. And now we have new AI contracts. The you know the you get the human likeness and the the yeah. the likeness into the future, and you could be dead, and they're still using your likeness <laughs> and things like that. That that's where we are as far as entertainment goes. So let's oh let's yeah be real. for sure. God forbid one of the Rangers, you know, you know, meets his maker, then it doesn't mean that the company still can't use his likeness. Hell, we we do that with Elvis, and Elvis has been dead for like fifty years. Yeah, people are still making Elvis stuff right now. Yeah, right now people are still making Elvis. I bet, I bet the whoever is holding the estate right now for Elvis, not to go on a thing, but I'm sure somebody must have pitched, let's do an Elvis tour. In 2025, I'm sure they did it with Tupac. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if Tupac can get a tour, there's no way Elvis wasn't gonna get a tour. And you know, right. people would go, or or not even to uh, Elvis. Uh, let's let's bring back all the Beatles. Yeah, let's, Paul McCartney and, and four robots. Let's rock it out. Exactly. If Yoko signs for it, you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, yeah. Let's get back to the the notes here, cause the, the, gotta get back. Uh, 
so another thing is a lot of people are home brewing uh, and remastering uh, DVDs and Blu-rays of Power Ranger seasons. I don't know if you've seen this. That I thing. have seen it. It's all over Facebook. It, and it's, it's coming out. More people are doing yeah. home brewing and home fixing, and and they're pumping up the resolution and they're putting. This isn't officially by Foul, Shout Factory or anything. These are just people at home that want a higher quality of thing, which is yeah. what I told you. You know <laughs> would happen. And you, know, you know what? It's not hard to do. It's very yeah. easy to do. Pump up the resolution and. But to re-render like episode after episode and then you know put them on a disc and i like to see how how great they could actually go because home brewing is still brewing you know oh yeah um well from my experience of upscaling videos myself for recording for youtube and stuff there's day and night even though when i record i record it at um 30 frames 1080p but if i want to make it look really nice for like the actual Troy part. I can upgrade it to 4K and it comes out much crisper, clearer. And it's funnier because like I recorded low and make it high and it still is like nice. It's you know very clear, like you would be watching it on a TV. It's happening. It's yeah. You know, if you don't do it, somebody else will. I've said that a million times about a million things. Yeah. Just like, like we were talking about the. I guess last year was we were talking about the the Power Rangers the the wave that was missing that was canceled. There, if there's a prototype, if somebody's got a three D printer and a couple of scanners, it's, it's not an impossible. No, yeah. and there is a prototype out there. Like I said, if you go back on the Super Seven YouTube page, you'll see the White Tiger Zord, the Madam Wo, and the White Ranger. Well, that one doesn't count because it actually did come out the White Ranger, but um, yeah. They're out there. Here's uh, another news. There's a new uh, comic coming out for Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles crossing over. They're doing it with uh, Usagi Ojimbo, but it's a one shot. So it's just one one shot. The Power Rangers go into a okay. Japan where Usagi Ojimbo is. And I'm guessing Usagi Ojimbo gets himself into trouble, so he has to call the turtles. So then the turtles, Usagi, and, and the Rangers are all going to be together. It's obviously ah, going to be Mighty okay. Morphin. Yeah, it's obviously going to be Mighty Morphin. There's, yeah. Why wouldn't you? But that that's basically that, that one-shot comic. Here's a, another news item. And it's it's a news item that's not a news item. We still don't have Wave 2 of Ninja Turtles versus Street Fighter. The wave that was supposed to have uh, Blanca and Donatello and Guile and Raphael. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we're ever going to get those. I think that's... Uh -huh. One of the playmates uh, lost in the woods, I guess. Uh, more news. Uh, this is for the Turtles of Grayskull. So there's this rumor that there's going to be a Shredder version of the Slime Pit, which could happen because I'm sure Mattel wants to make a Slime Pit for Hordak, a regular. So if you just change out the, the head plates to make it look like Shredder instead of Hordak, I think they, they do a Slime Pit. And the slime ooze, the Ninja Turtles, if it's selling well enough, I don't see why they wouldn't. What, yeah. What yeah. Yeah, there's just, again, Playmates. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're just going to keep pumping it out, you know? Yeah. The other little rumor that I would like to see this, and it's uh, that the turn, that Mattel's going to make their own version of a, of a sewer layer. That I would okay. like to see, and I would probably buy it, even if I don't have space for it. Just, just for the 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 oddity of it, you know what I mean? Like, here's the He-Man company making a Ninja Turtle thing about a crossover that doesn't technically exist, but exists. Yeah, and like it, it's it's so many oddities that that you know pop up. I'm like, oh, what the hell? So if it does happen, that'd be great. Uh, another uh, little news item. Neil Mayhem, the sewer playset itself, it's on clearance right now at Target as well. So if some of you want to, if some of you have space for it, or want to get it for your kid or something like that, I think you can get it at a really good price because they they didn't move the way they should have. Because I think they made it too damn big. You you've seen that playset, right? It's oh yeah, I've seen it. I've seen reviews on it too. Yeah, it's a lot of reuse from from other from other versions from the 
from the Rise of the Turtles playset, from the other playset, the 2003 one, the one that's supposed to be like, oh, this is uh, four stories. And then, nah. Yeah. Nobody got space for that. <laughs> not that it doesn't look good, because I'm not going to come out here and say it looks like crap or it looks bad. I'm just like, it's no, a lot of space. Don't. It's a lot of space. That's right. Yeah. The next little news item uh, the Ninja Turtles and the Pirate, the Ninja Turtles and WWE, they're, they're doing crossover figures, but they're not really crossover figures. They're just like wrestlers with with clothing that's similar yeah. to the Turtles. You've seen this, right? Uh, I've seen it. Well, we, I was telling you about it earlier. Yeah. Like you said, it was in the, this part of the show. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, Cody Rhodes is Casey Jones. Roman Reigns is the Shredder. Rey Mysterio is Raphael, and Kofi Kingston is Michelangelo. Nah, they, they just look like they're wearing different clothes. That's all they're doing. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. And the final little uh, news item for the week for the day is uh, the loyal subjects. Their original run of the turtles, the the ones with the really horrible articulation. The first one, they're hitting Ross now and they're on clearance. And okay. I I think I think like the first or second episode we did, we were talking about that Leonardo I have. And now I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna have to get those other three <laughs> turtles, bro. Yeah. This is, this is slippery slope, bro. Cause I guess it's the O C D in me or or it's the collector in me or whatever. It's you a collector. Call it. Collector. Like a, if you have Leo, you got to get Donnie, Raph, and Mikey, even if you don't want to. Well, that that's the reason why I don't collect more than one collection at a time. Yeah. Because yeah. if I go down that rabbit hole, I'm going to have no yeah, space for myself. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at some of them because I've been going to different Rosses, and I'm like, man, I'm like, there. I can get all three turtles, and now I can have my four set. I don't want to have the four set, but no. <laughs> I'm already stuck getting Raphael for, for to finish off the IDW turtles and now I'm gonna whatever and that's the news <laughs> <laughs> we did a pretty long one today yeah, yeah. That, that's the news back to you Jim <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah um but yeah it, it's it's yeah a lot of things end up in Ross yeah or a lot of things uh, end up in the uh, second hand bin yeah Oh, we got. I think we got like five more minutes. Have you been watching any movies or anything else? Or no, like I started watching the uh, fifth season of Cobra Kai last night. Is it any yeah. good? Or? Danny Russo goes crazy. But no, this, I, I like Cobra Kai. The show. I just didn't care for. I didn't want the action figures from my knee collection. But the Cobra Kai show is actually really good. Uh, yeah, if you ever get a chance to see it. No. You haven't seen it? Yeah, if you like the karate, you would have to like the Karate Kid 1 and 2 and 3, the original ones, to get I, the... Uh, I, I never saw it. I never saw the Hillary Swank one. I never saw the one with Jane Smith. I... Oh, man. Okay, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't understand Cobra Kai if you don't see I, the first three. I get three the ideas. Modules. Yeah, you get, I the, get idea. the idea. But, it's... but those flashbacks of the actual movies that happen, because the original actors come back to the TV show. They're tied into that universe, right? They're so tied into the original three movies, yes. And every time they bring an actor in, they make sure you know exactly what movie he came from, what scene he comes from, and it's 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 interesting. Like in this second movie, he, they go to Japan, mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Miyagi and Daniel Sun goes to Japan, and he has to do a fight to the death at the end of the movie. I mean, of course, he humiliates the guy because he can't kill him. You know, Danny Russo can't kill him because, you know, first of all, it's a movie. And it wouldn't look good for the Karate Kid to kill somebody. In the TV, <laughs> in the TV you know what I mean, right? You know, the you know what I mean. This little kid from, a, this kid from yeah. Brooklyn. That He's going to be charged as a karate him. adult. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, the guy that he humiliates, as he's in the show helping Danny Russo, in the fifth season, and it's just like okay, yeah, it's 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 well, yeah, interesting. You gotta play in the universe there. Yeah, you have to know the Karate Kid universe to like the show a little bit. You you know what I when I was like, bro, I saw this trailer for this movie that looked horrible, 
you, did you ever see this trailer with Rob Schneider and three kids that are karate kill, uh, karate kids, like three surfers or three ninjas? Oh, nin surf ninjas. Oh my God, bro. Every VHS yeah. ever had that trailer in it, bro. I don't know who decided to do. Look, it's 2024 and I'm still talking about that damn trailer. You, you gotta, you gotta love surfing. You gotta watch. If you haven't ever watched it, watch it. It's every kinda, time I, every time I think of Karate Kid, I think about that. Yeah, you gotta watch yeah. Surf Ninjas um, at least once. It's that was the movie I was trying to. I was trying to tell somebody about that at work. I was like trying to figure out the name of it. It was the one I'm thinking of. There's a kid that has a game gear, and you can tell the future. And I think it is Surf Ninjas now. That I think about, it. but you can tell the future through the game gear what's gonna happen. I don't know what that's about, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. The background. The background just changed. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I don't know why either. I don't know. It's the probably like the runtime. We've probably, probably. Like broken our runtime because <laughs> we're we're at an hour and forty minutes now. I don't think we've ever wow. passed. We've never gone this long. It's usually like a, an hour ten, an hour, or sometimes it's like ninety minutes. But no, no. And Sam, I'm using the free version, so I don't know what the heck the background is doing. So, gotta be careful what I do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hey now! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right, we better end, we better end this now before something uh, really really happens. Well, well yeah, kind of like just talking a little this and that. Uh, what I have been watching pretty steadily and is a uh, NYPD Blue on Tubi. I'm yeah. up to I'm up to the seasons with uh, with uh, what's this for uh, Ricky Ricky Schroeder. I don't know if you've seen the show NYPD Blue or how much you know of it, but I I, I used to watch it uh, the guy, way back the, in Dennis, the day. Yeah, Dennis Franz would every yeah. so often get a new partner because they'd leave the show or they something would happen. And I remember seeing it the first time. And now that I'm watching these episodes, I'm like, how horribly written the the Ricky Schro Ricky Schroeder's character is. And how he starts looking more and more bored, and even the writers with his scripts, and like, let's just just get on with it, and let's get into the. I'm almost looking forward to the way that they kill him off in the show because. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, All right, bro. We know you're only around for a year and a half. That's enough. Uh, the other one that was there for only a year and a cup of coffee was um, what was the the guy that's uh, CSI Miami? I oh, forgot what um. It he was yeah. the first year. He played John Kelly. I know who you're talking it. about. Yeah. They, uh, they based the show around David Caruso. David Caruso. David Caruso. Yeah, David Caruso. He was, bro, I remember that first season was so wrapped around his character. And then the second season, I think he like bowed out after three episodes. They just like wrote him off the show and they brought off his girlfriend too. Oh, and wow. they brought in and they brought in Jimmy Smith's. And Jimmy Smith was, oh my God, him and him and uh, Dennis Franz, like their chemistry was so good. And then he decides to leave the show. I don't know because he wanted a, an Emmy or something. Whatever reason he had to leave the show, he left the show. And they they killed him off. Fun. Uh, this is a quick little uh, history on NYPD Blue. For, <laughs> we're giving it all to you today. Car problems, turtles, <laughs> NYPD Blue. <laughs> but. Uh, they decide to kill off uh, Jimmy Smith's character. So they kill him off with like seven episodes of him being in a coma and he's having respiratory problems and he's having a respiratory infection that keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And they did that for like seven episodes until they found... It was probably a ploy to get an Emmy or something like, oh, the People's Choice Awards, like something so dramatic. Of, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Jimmy Smith is a great actor, but like we're watching NYPD Blue. Why is he got to die? Like, you could have ended yeah. the show there, but now this guy, he's he's been around for about a year. Because Jimmy Smith did like six and a half years. He he did a, a good run there, the best run. And now the the Ricky Schroeder, his character is I'm into like uh season seven, episode seventeen, I believe. So he's like two episodes away from being killed off. And he doesn't get a proper kill off. I think he just walked off the show. Because from what I remember, the original time watching, they just like, oh, where's uh, where's Danny? Where's Danny? Where's Danny? Where's Danny? And 
the, the guy in real life, he just stopped going to work. So they, they oh, came wow. up with this mystery. And you know who they replaced him with? Your boy from Saved by the Bell. Oh, uh, yes. Um, Mark Paul Gosler. Yeah. Yeah. He did the last four years, I believe. Because that show went on deep. NYPD Rule went on for 12 years, bro. <laughs> I do like that show. It's very well written. Steven Bochco and all of those people are great. I, I think oh, yeah. with that, we could call it a day. <laughs> unless you got anything else. Unless you want to talk about Cheers. <laughs> no, no. No Cheers, no say, no cheers, no say by the bell, nine, no 90210, none of that. We're good. Yeah. All right, all right, everybody. Share, subscribe, all that stuff, you know. Share with us. Share with the companies. We That's the only thing we see. If you like yeah. our fitness and our stuff, share with the big companies. See see if tomorrow we're we're doing an episode from Hasbro headquarters or something. Or stranger uh, things have happened. Be great. Or, yeah. or, or at least or, at least the interview with the CEO uh, of Hasbro, you know, who knows? Yeah, we're 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 getting into it uh, at the Super Seven store. <laughs> In New York? Oh, California. Oh, man. California. We'll yeah. go to both. What the hell? We'll do one and one. There you <laughs> go. Like two of us. There you go. With double coverage. Till next time, All everybody. Right. See Peace you. Out. Peace.